Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I'm going to do a little bit of sealing today. Uh, these are all the coasters. Um, I have done completion reviews on them. I'm just looking at that one. Why wow, that one's got an extra uh, little couple of drills on it for some strange reason. Just check that there's none missing. No, that's fine. <laughs> and I'm going to do a comparison between the normal uh, crystal art, uh, these are from Craft Buddy, uh, normal Craft Buddy crystal art sealer that I use all the time, which I've always got tubs of this on the go somewhere, and the shimmer sealer that I've not used before. This is supposed to have like a little bit of a, a shimmer in it. Okay, so you can't really see that it's got a shimmer so we'll see how that one goes so i'll do a couple of each one so i'll maybe do this one a red one and a green one uh, in the shimmer just to see what it looks like and then i'll do all the others in the plane and then once they're dry we can uh, compare them so yeah they don't look any different do they i'll have to mm, okay maybe that one's a bit creamier yeah, that's a little bit creamier, so it will be interesting to see. And I found this brush. This is a really cheap brush that I got in probably one of uh, the kits. When in the past I have bought like the um, storage kits the, with the little bottles and things like that. And I think that's one of those that I got with those. And this is an acrylic brush rather than a hair um, type brush. And as you can see... That one's gone absolutely solid, even though it was rinsed out and washed. I've obviously not washed it properly, but this one was washed at the same time and it stayed nice and bristly and fine. So, hmm, okay. Um, that's a large one. No, that one's... This is a Decker Patch brush. This is an official Decker Patch brush and I think that one is as well. Yeah, they were bought... Um, they were bought from Amazon and I was going to use those for sealing. I think I probably still will use that uh, for a larger sealing. This is a little bit rough really for doing any sealing because it's got very, very rough bristles and I think it's likely to move or take the drills off your project. So anyway, so we'll do the normal sealing first and then I'll use the glitter sealer, sorry, the shimmer sealer last. So I'll just put that lid on there for now so it doesn't dry out. So we decided we would do that one. We'll do the Christmas tree and we'll do the snowman. So let me just put sealer on all the others first. Oh, there's another drill there. Look, I must have had some extra drills on these. Very sparkly. I love these gnomes. I think they're fab. Okay, so I tend to seal anything that's going to be uh, used um, a lot, handled a lot, shall we say. And obviously coasters are going to be handled a lot. Plus as well, they are likely to get uh, water on them and putting cups on them and things. Then, yeah, they're going to get uh, quite a bit of usage. It's going a bit dark, isn't it, today? It was lovely and sunny again this morning. So, yeah, I'm just basically going in between all these drills and it's like grouting tiles you want it you don't necessarily want the sealer on the top so you can sort of put it on and wipe it off you want that sealer in between the drills because it's locking them into place like grouting as i say when you're putting tiles up you want it in between now you can wipe it off if you like um i've to be fair never really found much difference let me just grab some use for your black Use for your black plastic tweezers, look. Uh, yeah, I've never found much difference between wiping it off and uh, not. Uh, obviously, you're trying not to uh, move any of your crystals. If you do, or if you find once it's dry that one crystal has moved uh, or come off, you've lost a crystal, then if you just put a little teeny tiny blob of this uh, sealer where the crystal needs to go and just put the crystal on top, then it will seal it in place because it also acts as like a glue as well for your drills. So that's that one. As you can see, it's already starting to dry. It does dry really quickly. I would uh, oh, just push it up a bit. I would always recommend probably leaving it overnight and uh, seeing what it looks like then. So that's that one. And then 
then let's do this one to say these tweezers are really handy for doing this just give it a really good cover i love doing this it's like um, painting but you don't need to be precise i am going to seal the backs on these as well um, I'll probably do that off camera because these are just the wooden ones and I do think that uh, if any moisture gets into the wood then it is going to sort of, well, make the wood possibly contract and split uh, sorry, expand and then split as it contracts because the wood will make it sort of bloom out uh, the water will make it bloom out a little bit I don't know what I'm saying today uh, with them just being like this hard wood so, I mean, you could just use them as Christmas decorations. You don't even have to use them as coasters. But uh, I think they're very, very pretty. Okay, so you don't need to be particularly gentle as such unless you've had one of those projects where the glue's not fully set um, and the drills still move around a little bit. If you do get that, then if you just leave it sort of to air dry a little bit longer, um the actual canvas or the actual project before you put any sealer on it all it means is that the glue is not sort of cured um as it should do before they've put the cover sheet on it so it's not had a chance to dry out properly uh, and in which case you know just leave it that little bit longer well that's what i've always found has worked for me anyway so okay just give those a little bit of a help around there and oh no we want uh, a red and a green didn't we we said we'd do a red and a green so we want a red and a green and that one okay right so i hope everybody's uh, doing okay um yeah it seems a bit strange to be doing christmas things i know but i got a bit behind with uh, doing all the christmas projects that i did and then christmas and new year came up and I didn't get uh, any filming done, particularly between Christmas and New Year, which is probably when I should have been doing these. So I thought, oh, I better get on and do them now. Uh, I suppose it doesn't really matter what project I'm showing you. It's just showing you ceiling, really. Uh, canvases, if you're not going to put it into a glass or a Perspex frame, possibly seal it. Um, I just think if it's going to be exposed to the air, you see, we, we have a dog. Uh, we have our little Scotty dog, Millie Moo, uh, and she doesn't really shed. We don't get lots of hair all over, but with the best will in the world, you do get dog hair from time to time. So I do find that uh, it probably does work best if you do put a sealer on something, um, particularly if it's going to be open to the elements. Uh, and if you put in a picture into, say, a bathroom or a kitchen where it's likely to get a bit hot and steamy, as it were, uh, anything with a bit of condensation, then again, you do really need to uh, probably be sealing it. Obviously, you know, it's up to you. You'll know your area, you'll know your temperature better on things. So let's just pick that one up and move it over there. As you can see, it doesn't take a lot of doing. Um, and these pots do last a long time and uh, yeah I'm interested to see how the sparkly one turns out though and if I do like the sparkly one I'll probably use that one a lot more but it's certainly something to use on Christmas projects I believe all right so bye Santa we'll see you again in a minute I mean as I say you can wipe the top off if you like but I find that because this dries clear it doesn't really make much difference and uh, particularly on a coaster it's giving you just that little bit more protection as well okay I'm going to see if I can locate some more of these brushes because I'm very good at losing things um and I don't want to uh, lose one and then find oh no where's that good brush I've always preferred my sort of soft bristle brushes uh, but uh, and not the acrylic ones but this one is just so lovely and soft as I say it just washed out really really well so I think with uh, any craft really not just diamond painting uh, you're learning all the time and that's what I like nothing stands still you know everything just continually grows and evolves as it were okay so that's 
that one so we've just got those two to do in the sparkle just pop that one out the way there and let's get our little dorms done there's another loose gem there i must have had a loose bag somewhere or maybe i've spilt them that wouldn't surprise me if i've spilt a bag somewhere now these are acrylic um, and then they've just got the cork mat so I'm not going to uh, seal the base on these I'm just sealing the top so that if you put cups or mugs or glasses and uh, you find that you know you're spilling something on them if you knock a drink over or whatever then uh, it's just going to stop hopefully uh, the drills coming off or the drills moving but uh, yeah, certainly with these coasters, with the wooden ones, I do think it's better um, to seal the whole thing. I don't know whether I've got some um, decoupage. I may use that. Um, and I've got some Mod Podge as well. So I may use that because that's like a varnish as well. I could give that a go. Okay, Decapatch is the French brand. It's like um, they started doing like cardboard animals and things and cardboard items. And uh, you put little bits. It's like um, decoupage, basically. It's like a play on decoupage or decoupage, however you pronounce it. I think it's decoupage. And uh, yeah, you just put some of their sealer, their glue onto the item. And then a little bit like papier, um, papier-mâché, you, you just adding the bits of coloured paper onto it. You'll find them, uh, particularly in the UK, at uh, lots of the craft fairs and they'll have something huge, like a, a massive giraffe that's about six foot. And uh, they quite often ask people to just come along um, and add a bit onto it so you can have a bit of a play and things like that. I've got a little Scotty dog one that uh, I did. And uh, so that's another sort of sealer and things that you can get and that's why i got their brushes because i know they've always been really good quality right so and this one millie's downstairs with her dad today so she's uh, decided to stay down there she's not come to join me she's uh, been having fun with all her friends uh, we took her out shopping the other day oh my goodness me uh, you'll see videos coming up later on but i went shopping into a shop that we have here called the range and um, if you've seen my wreaths my uh, i think i got a christmas wreath i got an autumn wreath and i got a halloween wreath with gnomes on and yeah um well basically we went in actually i wanted some uh, fat balls for the birds because uh, they're usually a really cheap place to get them but they didn't have any and then we wanted some um, sort of grit rock salt for uh, outside because it's been very very slippy here recently and uh, they didn't have any of that either so it was a bit of a wasted journey on that front but oh my goodness all the christmas stuff was half price and all the christmas craft was half price and I might just have bought a few things and yeah, it would have been rude not to. <laughs> so uh, I'm not sure whether that video will be before this or after this, but uh, yeah, watch out for the video of the shopping. <gasps> Goodness me. I think though when you're a crafter, you do always uh, have an eye out for bargains. Well, everybody has an eye out for bargains, but you know, you're always thinking, well, that'll do for next Christmas. Um, or that'll do for, you know, some another project possibly for next year, or well, it'd be this year now. Uh, yeah, so I know uh, the shopping channels tend to start selling Christmas card making and Christmas crafting stuff in june and july and a qvc the big um company they tend to have a christmas in july as well so you can get started so really if you think how fast last year went um yeah buying something in january for uh, next christmas isn't a bad thing to do at all and if it's a good price it's brilliant okay it was quite sad though the amount of stuff that they had um you know, there is uh, you know, everybody's uh, scrimping and saving a bit at the minute and having to struggle with everything going up so much. 
having to cut back because everything has just gone up so much. It's just ridiculous. You, know, you, you go in the shops and everything's not just gone up like five pence or ten pence like it used to. Things have gone up like 30 pence and 50 pence and you just think, wow. And uh, yeah, so just pop that one over there. I'll have to leave these on my desk to dry. Yeah, uh, big hugs to everybody, you know, if you are uh, finding it difficult at the moment. I wish there was some way I could help you. Um, unfortunately, short of uh, winning multi-millions on the lottery, there's not much I can do. <laughs> Other than just be here and send you a hug and hope you're okay. Like most things, crafting stuff has gone up too. So, yeah... Let's get these covered over. Right, so, right, that's another one done. And I hope he's got, uh, oh, well, he's had a doctor's telephone call today, so we, uh, I don't know, we never get to see our doctor these days. I think it's the same everywhere. Uh, it's always telephone calls and uh, if you've got the doctor, if you've got to show the doctor anything, they switch it to a Zoom call. I think that's quite uh, amusing, really. <laughs> uh, oh, can you show me where it is? And they like just switch it to a Zoom call and you end up showing your bits to your doctor or, or over the phone. I, I don't know if I'm quite um, happy with that or not, really. I suppose in some ways it's progress, but in others, you know, it is nice to actually see the doctor. But anyway, so we got sorted out. We didn't have to show the doctor any bits today, so that was okay. It was just a bit of a chat about some uh, change to medication that we needed. So that was all right. And then we're seeing the eye specialist after all his tests and everything. Um, a couple of weeks ago we went, so they've called him in to go and have a chat with him. So I've got a funny feeling that could be another operation. Which, uh, yeah, we're not looking forward to, but anyway... We'll see what they say when we get there. Okay, we've seen enough of doctors. He's counting down. He's trying to get himself to a year without actually being admitted to hospital. So I think we've got about another two months to go. And then it will have been a year since he's had to go and stay in hospital. I tend not to think about the dates. I don't. I sort of have rough ideas when things happened. But uh, I try not to think about dates when negative things happened because I do like to remember happy things, not negative things, if that makes sense. Right, OK, so that's all the ones that uh, we're using the normal glue on. So I'm just going to go and wash this brush off and then I will be back and uh, we'll use the glitter. Ooh. Okay, I've given it a good shake and a good dry. So we have got these to do now. So this will be interesting uh, and I'll come back and I'll let you see them once they dry and we'll see what they look like then. Okay, so I'll just give it... Oh, you can see. I don't know if it'll catch it. You can see the glitter just a little bit now. I've just caught a bit of a shimmer of it in the... It seems a bit water, more watery than the other one. Hmm, okay, so let's give this a bit of a, a go over. Can use the bits. Oh, you can see maybe the glitter. Can you see that sparkling in the lid? Possibly. A little bit sparkly there. Okay, it's definitely uh, looks a bit thinner. Give it a bit more of a stare up, maybe. Ah, that's better. Maybe it was just the top that was just a bit. Ah, that's better. That's gone a bit thicker now. Hmm. Okay, so. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what difference it makes and what we actually get to see. I'm just thinking, though, they do say, and they do recommend, and all their programmes on the shopping telly, they do say to wipe it off. So it'd be interesting, actually, to see them use the glitter one. Because if you wipe it off, then surely you're wiping the glitter, the shimmer off it. In which case, aren't you sort of defeating the object? 
by wiping it off. Is that just me? Hmm. Interesting. Where's the cry? Okay. Let me just move those a bit. Move this up a bit so that you can see it. Yeah, you don't want to be wiping it off, otherwise it's pointless having it. Ah. Uh -huh. That might be a question I might have to ask them. See what they say. So I've not used this before, so we're looking at this together. Yay. Okay. Um, yeah. Just, uh, I don't want much on. Just want to definitely uh, a lot thinner this one than uh, the other one. I look more liquid, although the older one has been opened. So maybe I'm forgetting, but I don't remember anything being quite this liquid before. But we'll wait and see. And we'll see what it looks like. Oh, where's my tweezers gone? Here's me using my fingers. And I've got my tweezers here. I told you I'd find a use for these black plastic tweezers eventually. So I use them for silicon glue. Uh, and now I use them for uh, doing my sealing as well. So we'll put that one over there so that we know which ones are the sealed ones with the crystal sealer sorry shimmer i keep calling it crystal it's shimmer sealer shimmer liz shimmer <laughs> oh dear all right so let's just go around these edges um i tend to seal any of my ornaments and my wreaths and things that are uh, going up on the wall and anything that's likely to be put away for next year as well because they can with the best will in the world um you tend to find that uh, you can knock your uh, projects and it is only you know like a coating of glue that things are sticking to that your drills are sticking to your crystals so it can easily move really if there's a lot of pressure applied to it and if you're moving things around in a box or something then you know, it can uh, just get knocked that little bit. So it just secures everything in place. Okay, so that's the two round ones done with the different colours. So let's just do now the gnome. And then we'll see where we are later on. It is starting to get dark as well now. So it will be tomorrow now, I think, when I do the second half of this video. Okay. Noom, noom, noom. <laughs> right. So I've been tidying out the kitchen cupboards as well. Um, last time I did it, oh, it was just an endless task. Because when I clean them out, I don't like to clean them. Um, when I sort them out, I don't like to clean them as well. And I just ended up sat sort of in a pile of stuff all over the floor. Um, absolutely filthy because I'd been cleaning them out as well and I always end up, if I clean anything it always ends up all over me as well as the floor and so now I'm just doing it a cupboard at a time and it's working out a lot better because they're not too bad from last time when I did them but yeah I find if I just empty one cupboard at a time and I'm starting putting things in little boxes now so that you know when you open the cupboard things don't fall out on you <laughs> Maybe that's just me. Okay, so that is our three glimmer ones. So we'll put those together in the middle. And I'll have to wash this out again. I think you can see, look, these are starting to dry already. So that's how quickly they dry. But I am going to leave them overnight because I think they just need that little bit of extra. Make sure they're not touching so that the edges don't stick together or anything. Okay, so again, I'll go and wash this brush out and uh, we'll see where we are tomorrow when we get uh, all of these nice and dry and see what happens. So part two will be tacked on to the end of this video. I'll see you in a bit. Bye for now. Hi, back again. So, uh, these have been allowed to dry now for a good 24 hours. And as you can see, they are completely solid. These gems are not moving anywhere. I'm giving them quite a bit of push there. Trying one of these as well. So it does work. It does keep all the gems in place. So these are now ready to be used. 
the wooden ones are now ready to be sealed on the reverse. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit more reading up on that before I do that, but I think they should be okay. And then the Glimmer Shimmer uh, Art Crystal Art Shimmer Sealer. Glimmer Shimmer, that's probably a good name for it as well. <laughs> So the difference between the plain and the shimmer. I'm sorry, it's really dark today, so I've had to put the light on. Even with the natural light coming through the window, it is still very dark. So let's have a look at the red one against the red one. And let me just see. I'm hoping that you can see. I think it's going to show up. Yeah. Now, the thing with this is, though, it's green. Um, it's like an AB coating, Aurora Borealis type, very, very fine glitter particles, I think, in this sealer. And it like gives you a little bit of a greeny tinge. So it looks like there's bits of green glitter because that's the colour that's picking up. Even amongst the red and the silver, it is coming out green. So it's going to be very much depending on what you're wanting to do with something. Uh, over the top of the crystals, I can't really see anything over the top of the crystals, but I think you can. Let me just get really close. Yeah, you can look. If it goes out of focus just that little bit, you can see in between those red gems all along the edge, you can see the little like shimmery bits of glitter. Let me just do it there as well. So you can just, yeah. There's no green there at all. That is the glitter from the Shimmer Glimmer. Shimmer Glimmer. Sorry, it's not Shimmer Glimmer. It's a Shimmer Sealer. Right. How to use. Take a thin brush and apply a very thin layer over your required crystal art project. Try to apply the sealer between the crystals. Wipe off any excess sealer with a baby wipe. Now, that's a dry baby wipe, not a wet one. Always use a dry one. Um, leave to dry four to five hours, dries crystal clear. If you wish to make the sealer thinner, you may mix it with distilled water before applying. Now, they've actually said on the programmes and on the crystal art shows not to use water because it can cause bubbles. Um, and I'm a little bit iffy about using water with it. I always try, if I do wash my brushes, to get them as clean or as dry as possible. So uh, I'm a bit iffy about putting water in it, but that's what they say on there. So it says nothing about how it comes out or what it dries like. So, but yeah, that's definitely quite a bit of green. I mean, on the green one, which is the little... Uh, reindeer there you can't really see the green because it's green green on green you do i mean i i can see if i can get it a little bit closer if it goes out of focus sometimes you just get a little flash of it no you can't really see it but in between all the crystals there's a definite layer of like it is it's like iridescent glitter but it is green so then on the gnome of course we're white background and again it's all green shimmer so yeah i don't know i think the jury's out on this one uh certainly on some things i will use it but i suppose the, sh the shimmer has got to show up but that is just so much green sparkle in amongst those white gems rather than just a white. And it's not picking up any colour from anywhere because it's plain white in between. You can probably see. So it's not coloured any of the top of the gems, the crystals. But as you can see, that is just the plain white. And then that is down to... And then that's the Glimmer Shimmer. I will keep calling it Glimmer Shimmer. I'm not going to even try saying anything else now. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know what other colour you could really do it. I suppose it's got to be some sort of colour in it so it shows up. But, yeah. But I'm not sure that I particularly, when it's got all that white background, I'm not sure I particularly want the green or not. I don't know. The jury's out, as I say. 
so i may use it on some things i certainly don't think i'm going to be using it as much as i expected i was going to i mean if i'd done a massive picture and i'd used it then i could be quite disappointed having that little tint of green in it particularly if you say done like a pink canvas that's like a mermaid or something and you're wanting it just pink and you just like it a little bit glittery shimmery uh yeah i don't think i'd particularly want a green shimmer on it maybe mm. let me know in the comments what do you think you know do you think it's turned out well do you like the green shimmer uh would you use it or uh, is it just me being picky <laughs> Okay, well, anyway, so that's another little experiment that I've done. Um, just having a look at the difference between the plain crystal art sealer and the crystal yeah. shimmer sealer. Uh, yeah, I mean, as I say on the green, it hasn't really made any difference. And actually, that has warped a little bit as well, which is a little bit worrying. I don't know if you can... Yeah, you can look, you can see. That one, I must have put too much on that. Oh, it's come warped in the pack but that has gone uh, just that little bit wavy that's going to be not particularly fun to put uh, something down on oh i've just been joined by a million for whatever reason she's now having something to eat see that one stayed flat i don't know that i particularly did that any different to that one but yeah that one's definitely got a good wave on it so something to watch out for something none of these have these have all stayed flat as well so maybe the reindeer was having a disco while he was drying you know maybe he was shaking himself to dry off <laughs> okay well i think you've listened to me and waffle enough now so yeah that's me done for now uh if you have enjoyed looking at with these with me as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated uh, say any comments or questions in the comments down below i'll get back to you as soon as i can and if you want to come back and see what we get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up. So you won't miss anything. Yay! OK, thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.